morning sea view to wake up to and we're just watching the uh, Hapag Lloyd container ship sail past the cruise liner and she's fairly empty she ain't got a lot up top you'll see her as she come in, comes into view now I'm having to hold you up quite high because there's vans right in front of me you can see the bow now coming out So I overnighted in the yard, I didn't go home last night, I felt a bit guilty but I was really tired, I slept for hours yesterday, and I do mean hours, so it obviously did me good, but I've woken up with a swollen um, spur, you can see the boat now. So it's longer than the cruise liner, I think. Yeah. You'll see her better as she comes. There's a little tug in front of her. You get a better view in a moment or two. Trying to keep it steady for you, failing miserably. Yeah, she's pretty empty. The Montreal Express. Well, she's off now. There's probably will be a tag, tag, tug, tug up behind her. They normally have one at the front, one at the back, just to keep them steady. So yeah, this is my sea view this morning. Watching a Hapag Lloyd container ship go out the door. It's just a little after 8 o'clock. I've got about an hour, hour and 20 minutes drive. And I don't have to be there until 11, so... No rush on my part. There she is, isn't her. Well, they've been working all over Christmas and working over New Year as well, by the looks of it. If people would only stop buying shite. We could have a rest. We could be off for two weeks. No. 24-7 society. Speeches all layer. Hello, <clears throat> hello, you're oh, blimey. I need to dig my sunglasses out. Right, we're just going to go through this water, see if it's still here. I'm going to dig my sunglasses out first, though, so uh, you're going to have to talk amongst yourselves for a couple of seconds whilst I rummage around in the boot. Stop here. I'm in the boot. I ain't got boot. I'm in the boot. I'm in the boot.
more than anything when you need it, can you? Right, have some glasses at the ready. Right. Let's see how much this water is uh, it's gone. So a lazy start to the day. However, that does mean that I don't have to, uh, I could still be going at quarter to 11 tonight. Uh, not ideal. brilliant so I've got an empty box and I'm going to get it loaded it's only a 20 footer so it shouldn't take too long famous last words there's no car coming otherwise I'll flood it it's still deep look over the curbs can't even see the curbs dug the drains out less than six months ago. Clearly there's an issue somewhere. Time now 8.32. Um, I'm due in at 9.34, not due to be there till 11, so plenty of time. I might even stop Turn halfway right. down. seen all this a million times before so I'll put you one in a bit it gets a bit more uh, it's on we're going down the A31 and um, A31 A35 I don't know after 900 feet cross the roundabout and take the first exit Normandy way uh, but it's a road we, we rarely travel on so uh, we're going through the roadworks of Ringwood see how they've uh, how that's faring at the moment cross the roundabout and take the first exit. <coughs> the blue roll just fl flew off the bunk when I slowed down there and totally unraveled itself. Excellent. Blue roll everywhere. A couple of big boats in. Massive one boat, Ocean Network Express, with a massive bow. I've never seen a bow like that. Wow, huge. After 900 feet, go right on the roundabout and take the second exit, Berry Road. Put you on. Roundabout and take the second exit. Ooh. So I'll put you on in a bit, I reckon. We 
you probably know this road as well as I do. For those long, long term sufferers of the channel. <laughs> I do, I do say suffering. I met uh, Ashley Hale yesterday down on the docks. I was part next to him, so I sent him a message. <laughs> and uh, we had a little chat after I'd done it, because it was hurling it down with rain, so I, I had to get out and get my box lifted off, so I had a little chat with him, a very brief one. But we were both saying the reasons why we uh, why we do the videos is for, is for our own sanity. Uh, and as a byproduct of that, um, people people tend to like it and, other, and it helps them. So, uh, bizarrely. Um, but no, it, coming along just chatting away so I think his videos are from what I've what I've seen of his videos they they go a little bit more in depth than I do um, he does a lot more about what he's doing where he's going what he's picking up and all that malarkey whereas I tend to just talk shite but you know Okay, isn't it? <clears throat> that's the way my channel works, that's the way what I do, I just do what I do. I've learned now that we're our incoming pigeon. I just if I did if I started doing like if I started doing uh, videos on like oh, I don't know time management on, on like actual taco instructional videos and a, I'd probably get it wrong, even though I rough, I know what I'm doing. But you know, um, and it's just, it's just, it would be false because it's just not me. Um, it's not what I'm all about. I wouldn't feel comfortable doing it or, or setting up shots for reversing onto a trail. I have thought about it, and I've got a couple of cameras that I could probably get away with using to do it. Maybe I, maybe I should try it when I've got a bit of time. I don't know, but I never seem to have that much time. Mile, turn right, A three hundred and twenty-six, Marchwood Bypass. I never seem to have that much time to enable me to be or to have the time to allow to, to do it. So I really don't know how these guys get on with um, setting the cameras up and setting tripods up and all the rest of it, and doing a day's draft. I, I just Turn right. I just don't seem to have I, I don't know how they I don't know how they do it. Don't know. It's a yellow van there that's just gonna go by. He's got so many different colours of yellows on it. Every panel's a different shade. Strange. Um, so I think I said before, it's just... Um, I think if... Where is he going? The way I like to think of how my... How I... How the, how the video works is that it's like... If me and you were sat having a pint... This is the sort of nonsense we talk about. I mean, how we talk about the day, what we've done, what we're feeling, what's going on in the world, what we could do, what we could do better, <clears throat> what's bad, what's good, and general observation. You know, and laughing at the bloke that just chucked a pint all over his wife. You know what I mean? You know, it's not in you know, a by accident, not like on a front pint over here. But do you know? What, you know, just general. Day to day observation of what's going on. Go right on the roundabout and take the second exit, A35, Totten Bypass. So it's like pub chat from a lorry. <laughs> That's the only way I can describe it. Go right on the roundabout and take the second exit. Because the only thing you're going to learn from me about driving a truck is that it's some. Um, it's harder than a lot of people think. Well, let's take that now, hang on a minute. Let's rephrase that. It's not hard. It's not hard at all. 
but the work ethic, the hours that you put in are not for everyone. And the bureaucracy and bullshit that you have to uh, subject yourself is not for everyone either. Well, it's a glorious day, and I said I was going to go, and I don't know why I haven't. I sort of went off on a tangent like I normally do. So we've got a nice little trip down the pool. We might have our sun, well, I have the sun in our eyes, so that's, that's good. Loading pool. And then drag the box all the way out to Phoenix, though. After half a mile, keep left. Yeah. Gives me something to do. Gives me something to do. I don't particularly like feeling stone dogs. Oh, tied out full of Can Canadian geese. Canada geese. Is that Canada geese? Yeah, I think it is. After 900 feet, keep left, then the roundabout and take the second exit. Oh, it's getting bigger. Keep left, then cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit, M271, towards the Ursling. Lovely and quiet, straight out there. Right, I'll go speak to you later. Speak to you later. Later. Hello, only a few minutes have gone by, but we're at the end of the uh, M27. We're now on the A31. Lovely and quiet. Cruise on at 52. We're about to go through the uh, New Forest. Well, through the Heathland. Scenic through here. Good Christmas and New Year. I mean, it's only uh, it's not New Year's Eve yet. It's only Thursday for me. Um, but obviously, this is going to come out. I don't know, sometime in the first week of uh, January. Got out across the 
new forest now. We're cutting through part of the uh, uh, the northish part of it. I mean, the new forest stretches from the coast nearly all the way up to Salisbury. That's a good 20, 35, 40 mile from the coast. Possibly, something like that. Probably can't make out on these hills there, but they're pretty handy with their pretty... <laughs> when you're full of clay and you have to come back this way, they're hard work. Cemetery in uh, Brockenhurst. Which I keep meaning to go to, but I don't. I don't know why I've, I've never been there.
get a bit further up the road and I clean the screen. So we surely be approaching uh, Ringwood and as we go through Ringwood they've been doing roadworks for months and months and months. I haven't been along here in a uh, little while. So uh, we'll see, uh, quite handy to know because we're coming up this, uh, I'll come up from that road there actually, the one on my left. Head up to our friends for New Year's Eve. Going to Shaftesbury. Spend the night there, Russ. Let's get the clean, cleaner screen. The screen to clean even. on the roads. This is known for, uh, it's a bit of an accident, black spot along here, especially in the summer. Polna Hill. And again, it's just people that don't exit or uh, enter on, rather, enter on to uh, this busy stretch of road. There's a lot of water. I'm expecting the river to be uh, pretty high as well. signs of cones and I'm sure that it was down to around one lane down there somewhere. I reckon they might have completed it. Roughly where I'm going, but I'm not sure 
because it's there's quite a few warehouses down there that they've got. And I'm not sure where that warehouse is. Well, that particular warehouse. Might have been the same one that I loaded from. Uh, but I don't remember the container being in there. But uh, who knows? See a labour we'll be pulling over. I don't want to get there before 10 o'clock. Got half hour to kill. And I'll speak to you all a little bit later on. Hello, time now 9.56. I just took a 45 minute break. There's no point in getting in um, too early. So this lane, you uh, for this roundabout, you stay in this lane. Go right on the roundabout and take the second exit. Even though you're going round. Be amazed at how many people get this wrong. Twenty past ten. Twenty past up past. I don't know, something like that. And then gotta find out which warehouse I'm supposed to be going to. If I go in through the main gate, there's a security. And uh, I can ask those boys. So I've been in there before but and to the same company. Remember what the unit numbers are. I did a check of my blood pressure. Follow A31 for 3.5 miles. Bang on where I should be. So I'm happy with that. Now that might have been a fluke. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes.
years ago they reconfigured a roundabout and uh, I don't think it's ever worked properly <laughs> What I should have done was built like a flyover over the top of the roundabout so that the traffic going along here would be absolutely fine and then everything bleeds under it as a normal roundabout. Slip roads. But during the summer you can be queuing for miles along here, you can be queuing way back. And even in both directions. There's a, there's a bit of a queue, it looks like there could be a little bit of a queue on a quiet day, like today. Camford bottom roundabout. a lad to drive lived up here and he um I can't remember how he ended up well uh, he, he won a scholarship to uh, Bryanston School and uh, I taught him to drive and uh, I picked him up from home during the holidays once he had a few letters while he was on holiday because he lived around here and Bryanston School's only just down the road so um, I took him out we were chatting about it and I said uh, do you enjoy Bryant's? And he says, yeah, but I miss me mates. I said, oh, come on. He said, oh, I'm just, you know, grew up with me mates that live all around. And, you know, you see where I live, just a normal house. My dad's, you know, normal job. We're not millionaires or anything. And I said, so, you go to Bryant's? He says, yeah, I want a scholarship. I said, right. I said, how did you find that? Then? And he says, well, and I think he suffered from that, what I know and understand now from things like that, it's like imposter syndrome, because we were talking about it the other day with my mate. Right? And uh, he said, I've got mates, that their, their parents have been multi-millionaires. And I've been to their house, and I've been skiing, and I've done this, and, you know, I've done... And, uh, you know, and it's, you know, chauffeur-driven and all the rest of it, and, uh, you know, and it's, 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 it's a different world. And I had a mate who come down here and he was like, oh, <laughs> he'd, he'd never be, you know, we got the bus in the Bournemouth. <laughs> it's a different world, isn't it? Different world. I taught one of um, Brian Ferry's sons to drive. Nice lad, nice lad. doing that. Tree there, the birds are magpies having a field day on that one. Oakley. Let's go 
squeaky trailer. I think it's only a 30 through it. I would have thought they would have widened it a bit. Room on the left. That used to be a pub on the right. Thank you for not drinking and driving. Thank you. You shouldn't be thanked for that. That's just like thanking someone for breathing. Get over. No one's trying to overtake me and be stupid. They got some nice gear. You just can't shit about all the time. Literally. So I think there is a side entrance from this this road, but I'm not going to go into that. Roundabout and take the second exit, A349, Gravel Hill. Gravel Hill. Crematorium to my left. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. run up as well. It's a roundabout here, you gotta take up all the lanes. Funny shape roundabout as well. It looks like 
cross the roundabout and take the third exit. I should have been able to take up one lane or the other, but it's not really the case there. And narrow at the end. Seventy-six. I paid one eighty-one yesterday. That used to be a pub in there or a social club. There's a vet. I'll have to look to see where this entrance is. Delivered to a place down in there though, some glass. It was a right pain in the arse to get into. It was a 20 foot box and it was really heavy as well. After 900 feet, Unsuitable for HGVs. I don't it Google. Left. That's why he wanted to take me down there. Down that road. Oh Christ, yeah. <laughs> that would have been disastrous. There's like a chicane. I wonder how many people get caught out going you down there. You have reached your destination, Waterloo Road. It is oh, on your ish. left. Yeah, it's over in there. So I am going the right way, which is the way I thought and the way I was decided to go. It's interesting to see where that was. It's a, not wasn't a good move to go down there. over a bit because I've got to get around this corner it's a little bit tight as you can see by the curb stones if you can that have all been flattened with people going around it I'll probably go out the same I don't know there's several ways to get get out of here because of the one, it's like a, you got to do loops to get out. I could go back a completely different way, which I might do. So we come off here. And then we come off here. I reckon, I mean, no, that's, I don't know if that's it or not. It's containers. I don't think that's it. That's not the one I want, because I've delivered there before. And that's um that's another company altogether. So we're going in here. Why would they put this on an angle? Right, I'll speak to you in a minute.